Hello everyone. It's been a while since we've done an update with Opie's toy box. Just gonna show you the progress we've made in the past week. Actually, you can see out here, the front porch is all cleared off. There's no building materials anymore. The door is all finished. And here comes what we've done inside. Last time, if you remember, we had just put up the sheetrock and mudded the cracks and painted. Now we got this beautiful water resistant laminate floor down. We've got all the plate covers on, trims up, little stock room here all finished off to put supplies and tools in. Those tools will be coming out. I'm going back down to my main workshop just as soon as we get the rest of it done up here, which will still be a little while, but we have made quite a bit of progress. Here's the supplies we've ordered, some filament for the 3D printer, and that's still tools and stuff, but had to get a little refrigerator and stick in here because it's so hot because we have no heat and air yet. So, Basically, this is the point we're at. We finally do have a 3D printer and a 3018 CNC machine. The 3D printer is running right now. If you wanna see one of them in action, that's what it does right there. It's making a little uh, temperature guide thing that Cindy wanted to make. So it tells you what temperatures your food should be cook that to be done well done medium rare and all that it's got the picture of the cow the fish and the chicken and it'll print the numbers and the temperatures on it last i'm sure still has an hour to go on that print so not quite done with that one yet i just put this together a little while ago this was a 3018 cnc pro machine it does engraving, it does wood carving, several different things. So we're gonna see what we can move, do with it and potentially make. But for now, I haven't even tried it. I hooked the manual switch up to it, which is right there. Just to make sure the motors worked and the bed went back and forth and all the stuff worked like it should. And it did. So all I need to do now is find me a file on a piece of wood stick the computer file in there and tell it to do it and see what happens. So probably be trying that tomorrow. I've already did one thing with this 3D printer. It was a little Boston Terrier wall art towel holder. Turned out real well. But soon I'm gonna be making toys with this and giving them to children in children's hospitals and low-income family children, single parent family children, they'll be free to them. But now we will have a website, Opie's Toy Box, that people that aren't low-income or don't have a child in the hospital but still have children that would like to have a toy, it won't be selling it. It'll just be suggested donations and the reason being because the donations that we get from any toy that a parent buys for a child that just wants one will be all used towards the the mission of Opie's Toy Box, which is to take and make toys with those 3D printers and that CNC machine and take them to the children's hospitals, children's homes, foster kids, whatever, low income, one parent families and give them to them free of charge. So that's the whole idea behind taking this old barn and turning it into what I've turned it into here is eventually the goal is, is hopefully to have maybe 10 or 12 of them 3D printers and five or six of those CNC machines or maybe one big CNC machine that I can make all kinds of stuff out of wood and plastic to give the children toy wise and make some stuff to raise funds and do fundraisers with on the Opie's Toy Box website. Now I haven't showed you the ceiling because it still looks like this. 
So be much in prayer for us. We need a ceiling in here. Now I've got to get a heat and air system in here because I do need to control the temperature, but those are two expensive things that we're going to have to do some fundraising and figure out how to come up with the funds for it. Ceiling alone is going to be 1500 and a heat and air system, I'm sure at the minimum is going to be 4000 for heat and air in here. So we'll get it figured out. The Lord will help us if we just pray and believe and ask. He'll come through for us. So again, thank you for tuning in. Just wanted to give you an update. Please click subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Click like on this video and share it. Share it with everyone on your Facebook or your social media page, whatever you may be on Facebook. Uh, any of those other things, I don't use a whole lot of them, so I don't really know what they all are. I know there's Twitter and several other things, but share this on any of them that you may have so others can help us pray and potentially get this thing going full force like we want it to. And so hopefully we can do something for our fundraiser to get the ceiling put in and get the heat and air put in. That's the last things we need. Well, except for painting the outside of the barn, we want to repaint it. That's not a necessity. It'd be something good to have later on down the road. But anyway, click like, subscribe, share this video, and leave us a comment. Let us know what you think so far. Give us any suggestions on toys or fundraisers that you've done or things in the past that you've raised money with. And uh, maybe it'll be something that we could do to get these, you know, to get this ceiling put in and get this heat and air put in. But also, like I said, give us comments on what you think so far and any suggestions on a toy or things that you know that children really like pretty well. So I can be looking for the 3D print file to try to start making it. Thank you for tuning in. Look forward to seeing you again. Bye.